clean base load power. It is going to be utterly necessary as we move forward as a nation, as we see AI, these data centers, the increased demand for power from electrification, and all of these factories that are coming online. So we need clean base load power. Nuclear is one of the solutions. Uh, but we think the lessons that we've learned here can, can help, can, can support for the development of nuclear energy here in this country. And we're going to do everything we can to support that, uh, but not a, any new investment here by Southern anytime soon. Uh, I think the government should provide some funding source to help companies get started to make these kind of large investments. The type of power plants we're building today in America have never hurt anyone. That goes all the way back to Three Mile Island. That is about as safe as you can get and certainly better than the commercial airline industry, which I assume we all rely on. So nuclear is having its day in part because of its extraordinary record, not just safety, but also performance. Salt then travels to a very large storage tank that serves as a thermal battery for the plant. This is an important feature of the natrium facility. The nuclear and energy islands are separate, limiting the radiation footprint and simplifying construction. The molten salt passes near water-filled tubes and boils the water to make superheated steam. This pressurized steam then helps turn a turbine, creating electricity. Operators can release more or less molten salt from the storage tank, increasing and decreasing the power output to the grid. Within the energy transition, we will need innovation and new technology. TerraPower's Natrium Reactor is one of the only truly advanced domestic reactors under development today. The Natrium Nuclear Plant is being demonstrated in Wyoming through a partnership with TerraPower and the U.S. Department of Energy. A truly advanced reactor, the Natrium technology brings decades of experience into a simple, small, and flexible package. The plant is designed with a nuclear island and an energy storage island. It all begins on the nuclear island. In the plant's reactor building, advanced uranium fuel is inserted into an enclosed container and covered with liquid sodium. A chain reaction starts when uranium atoms split and release neutrons and heat the metal coolant inside the reactor system. The natrium reactor uses liquid sodium metal to cover the plant's core and transfer heat for power production, unlike existing reactors that use water as a primary coolant. Sodium's boiling point is eight times higher than water, significantly enhancing the natrium plant's safety.